This short how-to video is to help site staff to correctly take and record monthly water temperatures from low-risk water systems. This will form part of the monitoring schedule produced by a competent person in order to control Legionella bacteria in water systems. The monitoring schedule aims to take a representative sample of water temperatures throughout the entire water system over a 12-month period. The competent person will have already identified these sampling locations. Firstly, you will need a good quality and calibrated thermometer with two different probes, which you must check for damage before use. Firstly, an immersion temperature probe, and secondly, a surface temperature probe. You will need to use the immersion probe when taking the cold and hot water temperatures supplied through separate taps. When taking the cold water temperature, the water should run for two minutes, making sure the temperature is observed for the full two minutes. The temperature should not exceed 20 degrees centigrade. It is also important to be aware of any exceptionally high temperature peaks, as this may indicate local heating for example, due to the cold water supply being too close to a localised heat source. When taking the hot water temperature, the water should run for one minute and the temperature should be observed for the full minute. The temperature should exceed 50 degrees centigrade. It is also important to note hot water temperatures above 60 degrees centigrade, which are not advisable due to the risk of scalding. In these situations, you should advise your manager who will need to arrange for system adjustments to be made. So as a reminder, for cold water temperatures, you will need to record the temperature for 2 minutes, which should not exceed 20 degrees centigrade. And for hot water temperatures, you will need to record the temperature for 1 minute, which should exceed 50 degrees centigrade. You will also need to be aware of point of use water heaters where the supply of hot water may run out before the end of the two minute monitoring period. Turning now to the surface temperature probe, this will need to be used together with a different methodology when monitoring cold and hot water temperatures from a blended supply. Although the methodology for monitoring surface temperatures is different, the cold and hot temperatures and monitoring periods will be the same as described above. Finally, it is important to accurately record the temperatures in the site water logbook, which should also be routinely checked by a competent person. Thanks for watching. For further information, please contact a member of our water safety team.